How do I fade particles over their lifetime? You might notice that there's a slight problem with this little flare particle system we've created in that the particles kind of wink out of existence real suddenly at the top, and you might not want that. You might want your particles to you know, softly fade away as opposed to just popping out so strongly. Now, there's a couple of ways to approach this. You can do this with either a color over life module or a scale color over life module. Now, the setups for both of these are going to be essentially the same, and it comes down to a simple question. Do you want to redefine your color, or do you already have an initial color set and you just want to modify the existing color? Since I kind of like the color we have, I'm going to go with a scale color over life, which just sort of multiplies your existing color. Color over life allows you to completely redefine the color. We'd have to go back in and reset the colors to match what we have right now. Let's go with scale color over life, and by default, nothing happens. Let's take a look at the properties here. First off, we have the color scale over life property. This would allow us to change the color over the life of the, of the particle as they uh, go from birth to death. But what we're interested in is alpha because we're fading. So I'll close up uh, color scale over life. We'll come down to alpha scale over life. For some reason, by default, this is set to a distribution of a constant, which does us no good whatsoever. We need to change the distribution over to a curve. So I'm going to take uh, the distribution property. We'll set this to a float constant curve, which means it's going to be a number that changes over the lifetime of the particle. Now, this really is a curve that we will be able to visualize over here inside the curve editor, which I'll show you here in just a moment. But first off, we need a couple of points. So I'll add two points to our curve. 0 and 1. Now, point 0 is our first point. It has uh, the two key things here. We have an in value and an out value. Think of in value as your point along the timeline. An in value of 0 is the birth of the particle. Your out value you can think of as the value of the alpha. So right now we're saying at the birth of the particle, at uh, lifetime 0, we want our alpha to be 0. Well, that's not good. We want our out value to be 1, so the particles start off full bright. And here you go. It's actually working. So let's come down to our second point, and we also have an in value and an out value. Again, in value is your point along the timeline, which is also set to lifetime, so that's not good. We need to set this to 1, which is the death of the particle, all the way at the end of its life, and our out value is set to 0 by default, and we can already see some fading taking place. Now, if you want to see this inside the curve editor, you can click on the little curve button here inside your scale color over life module, and here you go. Let's go ahead and pull this over we can see right here at zero we have an alpha of one and then at one we have an alpha of zero so we're actually mapping that across the lifetime of the particle you can see that value decreasing and that is a quick look at how you can scale particles over life which wraps up or not <laughs> you can scale their alpha over life excuse me which wraps up this how do i video